There's this storage container that's just sitting here in North Philadelphia. It's really distracting for drivers because they can't see. So we sent Hank Flynn to check it out for himself. What is it? Why is it there? And what's going on, Hank? Well, Jason, it's a shipping container. And I tell you what, try it out yourself. Fire up the old car, buckle up your seatbelt. But before you pull out of this parking lot here on 7th Street, take a deep breath, cross your fingers, wish yourself uh, double dog dare yourself, because drivers pulling out here tell me it's dangerous. Yes, it is. How so and why? The big shipment container is, in a, is blocking the view, so we can't see when cars are coming. Well, what kind of situations that put you in? danger. Locals tell me it's been here for six months to a year. This mobile mini storage solution shipping container parked half on, half off the sidewalk on 7th between Spring Garden and Calla Hill. Renee Mafiotti says it's caused accidents and then it was hit by a car two nights ago. And then I came in yesterday and it's all the way up on the curb. It's into the sign over there. There was a bumper on the ground. Clearly, like, they hit this pretty bad. The trouble is, she adds, that it remains a danger to any driver. Pulling out of the parking lot just north of it, they can't see whether car are coming at speed or not, it's a risky gamble. She works in the building it's parked in front of. They've made calls. From what I know, they've called police, they've called PPA to try and get a towed since it's in a parking lane, and uh, nobody can help because it was sent to the wrong location. It's seemingly empty. Like, I don't know if it's abandoned or what's going on, but nobody has come to pick it up. We made a slew of calls, and here's what we got. In a statement, the PPA told me that though they have no jurisdiction, the container doesn't meet code, no license plate, or VIN number. They said since it presents a hazard, they've contacted the owner to tell them they're initiating removal proceedings. They better hurry. Philly Streets emailed me that since the container has no permit, they'll remove it as soon as next week. Now, Jason, Sheba did reach out to the owners of the building that the container's in front of, did not hear back from them, but uh, Mini Mobile, the company that has its name on the container, sent me this statement, uh, essentially saying that the container, quote, is currently on rent with a customer. We're actively working with the customer to address the situation safely and quickly, unquote. Now, guys, I don't know who that customer is, but I can tell you this, they better get here and move it quickly before streets and the PPA do. And we are live in Spring Garden. Guys, just so random, Hank, and it's been there for so long. Hopefully, this story I makes hope. some change. My best line from Hank today Why is this here? Hank, thank you so much. And it's a shipping container, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, we buddy. saw what you did there, Hank. Thank you. Thanks, Hank.